Hello everyone, it's Jaime from Pocket Now, and you know it's weird to see Google be late to compete against the world in just about every service that's ever been launched and has nothing to do with search. So far, Google Drive took five years ever since rumors began to roll out of the garage, and you'd wonder what took them so long. So let's compare it against Dropbox, which is pretty much the only service that compares in ease of use and popularity, and let's see if it was worth it to wait for Google Drive. Google Drive is like the next version of Google Docs, so call it a revamp of what you already knew, but the enhancements don't end there. See, this service is what I'd like to call a better way to Dropbox. When compared side by side, Drive offers three more gigabytes of storage for free. It allows you to expand that storage at a cheaper price for just $30 a year for 25 gigabytes. Has a maximum file upload size of up to 10 gigabytes where Dropbox has a 300 megabyte file limit for mobile devices. And is integrated with Gmail, Picasa, Google Docs to allow collaboration. There are also developer APIs available to allow any application to be fit with access to Google Drive, whereas Dropbox pretty much pioneered near that service. The only place where Dropbox excels when compared to Google Drive is in its support with the decaying BlackBerry operating system, where Drive only supports Android and iOS is coming soon. Probably the biggest reason why Drive can only be compared with Dropbox as opposed to other competing services like Box.net or even iCloud is in its easy to use desktop client. After you download it from drive.google.com, the installation process is very similar to what you already do in Dropbox, and it's almost identical between the Mac and the PC. We'll use a Mac for the purpose of this video. Simply download the client, install on your computer, log on with your credentials, and Drive will create an easy to access folder in your Finder or File Explorer. One thing I commonly do is create a shortcut in my desktop for easy syncing, but that depends on you. Where Drive stands out is that if you already had Google Docs in the past, you'll notice that all the documents you created will appear in your Finder or File Explorer. And like in Dropbox, you'll also get an indicator that states that the document is either syncing or already synced. If we compare the sync speeds between Dropbox and Drive, I'd say both services are extremely hard to tell apart since both of them are really good. The only downside to this service from Google Docs is that these are just web shortcuts available on your Finder and won't work offline with any desktop client like Word or Excel. You'll have to be online and view them on your browser to be able to edit them. On Android, Drive is being distributed as an update to the Google Docs application. It has the advantage of being more than just a browser client, so the files that are shared with you are always available even if you don't decide to drag them to your Google Drive. The service also allows for you to upload photos directly from the gallery, but it's kind of pointless if this recent update also provides one gigabyte of free storage in Picasa, and Google Plus also uploads your photos automatically, even though people rarely use Google Plus. Gmail also got a bump to 10 gigabytes of free storage, so collaboration just couldn't be better. Another reason why Drive excels is with its OCR and image search capabilities, though this implementation on the desktop client is yet to be seen. Overall, Google Drive has proven to be a very good cloud storage contender. Offering more drive space is not enough if there's not enough ease of use involved. And Drive is as easy as it gets. If you're a current Dropbox user that owns an Android phone and probably an iPad, it's best for you to stick to it for now, but I'd recommend that you switch to Google Drive once they roll out the support for other platforms. That's it for today's comparison. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Jaime Rivera from Pocketnow.com, and don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like what you saw. That's it for now. But it's kind of weird to see. You already said it's kind of weird to see. Come on. So let's compete it against. All right. Ironically, Google Drive. All right. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like what you saw. This is like the King's Speech.